Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's talk about the 2-meter everyday carry kit. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Real quick, before we get going today, I've got to give a shout-out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So before we get to the contents of the bag, I want to discuss a bit of the philosophy behind it. Now, if you're just interested in seeing the contents of the bag, I'll put a notation right here across the bottom of the screen so you can go ahead and jump right to that particular point. However, I think it's important to figure out why you need this bag before you start packing a bag like this. And your situation may be completely different from mine. I've got a friend out in Montana and two meter work is almost non-existent in his area, especially when we're talking about APRS and Winlink. So his kit is going to look entirely different than mine. But my point with putting this kit together was a, a couple of different reasons. A, you'll see as we get into it, this supports my primary communication device or our cell phone. Uh, so I've got plenty of cables and things in there to recharge it. In addition to that, it gives me the ability to do a few things with this kit. I can do APRS with this kit. I can set up an APRS Digipeter with this kit. Uh, I can check my Winlink messages over two meters with this piece of kit. So it gives me quite a bit of capability in a very small package. This bag typically lives in the center console of my vehicle and one of the radios stays above my sun visor all the time. Almost every single day I have an HT radio with me of some description. Typically it's one of the two that you're going to see here in just a minute. This kit is what I consider my foundation. So this is a foundation that I build everything else on if I'm traveling uh, in a short distance or even in a longer distance. Now, I will have to say if I'm traveling a longer distance away from home and I'm not familiar with that area, I do add an additional kit to the one you're going to see today. But in my home area or, or anything within probably a couple of hours of my home area, uh, I'm okay just carrying this basic little two meter everyday carry kit. However, if I start going further and further away from home, I'm definitely going to grab one of my additional kits to take with me. And I'll do a separate video on the additional kits that I can use and why I have chosen what I've chosen for those particular kits as well. So let's go ahead and jump over to the table and take a look at this two meter everyday carry kit. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I've typically got one of two radios with me, either the Yaesu FT65R or the Yaesu FT5D. This radio, the FT65, lives above the sun visor in my Wrangler. I just like having it up there so that I can grab it at a moment's notice. I never really have to give any forethought to it. It's also nice if I need to maybe just hand that radio out to another ham operator. Uh, maybe we're doing a convoy or something like that, and they didn't have a radio in the particular vehicle they were in. That's a great use for this radio. The FT5D, it gets drug out more like on field days or other events. Uh, they're kind of pre-planned, and I want to have an APRS-capable radio with me. Now, both of those radios have the BNC adapters on them, and that allows me to use the Signal Stick by Signal Stuff antenna. Uh, I have changed all of my HTs over to use the BNC adapter, and all of the antennas are now BNC as well. This makes it quick and easy to change these between the radio, so going from one radio to another is super simple with that. Now, let's go ahead and start diving into the front pouch of this bag. Now, right up front, you will see three different types of USB cables. I've got one that's USB to lightning, one that's to micro USB, and one that's to USB-C. Why? Well, let's face it. 
Our cell phone is still our primary communication device, and I want to have cables available to me that can not only charge my phone, but also a friend's phone should they find themselves low on battery while they're riding around with me. On the other side of that pouch, you will find a hank of paracord, useful for a lot of different things. Primarily in this kit, we use it for hanging an antenna. Behind that, you will find a power adapter. This goes from cigarette lighter to power pole, and this one's made by PowerWorks. So another little cool item to have with you. Uh, just gives you a little bit more capability. We also have two different batteries. I never know which one of the HTs I'm going to have with me, so I want this kit to be able to support both of them. So I've got a spare battery for the FT65R and a spare battery for the FT5D. In addition to that, you will find a small USB stick. Uh, this is a 32 gigabyte version, and I just keep some different things on there that I think I might need. Uh, manuals for radios and things like that that we could use in conjunction with the Raspberry Pi that you'll see in the main compartment here in just a second. So let's go ahead and dive into that main compartment. As you can see, this bag is pretty stuffed. And guys, what I'm going to do is I'll leave links down in the description below to a lot of the things that you see in this video. Uh, unfortunately, the bag, I went looking for it this morning on Amazon, and I do not see this bag uh, available. So I can't leave you a link to that, but I will try to leave you as many links as I can down below. The first thing you'll see is the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, this is actually one of the things that I upgraded since I did this video last. I just couldn't live with a Raspberry Pi 0 anymore. I did try going to the 02W. It still lacked the horsepower that I wanted to be able to run things inside this kit. So I did go ahead and upgrade to the Raspberry Pi 4. And I'm running that in an Argon Neo case. I really like this case. Um, it's all aluminum. And actually, this part of the case serves as a heat sink for the Raspberry Pi. Now, I am running a real-time clock in this. This is the only Raspberry Pi that I run a real-time clock in. But I am running that real-time clock module in this particular Pi. also like this uh, magnetic closure that pops off giving me access to the GPIO pins below if we need them. Next up, you're going to find a battery. This is a 10,000, I believe 10,000, 10,400 milliamp hour battery. This one has a couple of different USB plugs on the front of it, so we can use this to recharge uh, a cellular device if it's dead. I can also use this battery to power this Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to get several hours of runtime out of this battery, which is plenty when I'm just working with this tiny little kit here. Now, next up down in the bag, you're going to find a MobiLink TNC, and this is just a uh, top that I 3D printed for the MobiLink. My one complaint about the MobiLinks is this power button is almost flush on the top, and it's super easy for that button to get pressed down uh, when it's buried down in your bag. So I did print this cover for it just to protect that button from getting pressed while it was down in the bag. Another thing I've done is I have upgraded from the TNC2 to the TNC3 in this kit. Uh, I like the TNC3, and the main reason I upgraded was I do carry an iPhone on a day-to-day -day basis, and the TNC3 is compatible with the iPhone where the TNC2 was not. Next up, what you're going to find is a mag mount antenna. Again, this guy, and I'm going to move this out of the way just a little bit, this guy comes from the Signal Stuff Company, and it works. It's got BNCs on both ends of it, so BNC here and a BNC here. The cool thing about this, and I have changed from a previous uh, mag mount that I used to run over to this one, after I changed all of my antennas. But this allows me to quickly get a mag mount outside onto the roof of a vehicle. Uh, I can attach this in to the HT since they're all using the BNC adapters now. And we can take that same signal stick antenna that I showed you guys earlier 
and just mount it right to the mag mount. So this gives me a great option. Let's say I'm going to jump in someone else's car that doesn't have a radio. I might be jumping in my wife's car where she doesn't have a radio in her Jeep. This allows me to go ahead and quickly get an antenna outside of that Faraday cage of the car and get it up on the roof so I can get much better range when I'm just using 5 watts with an HT. Now we're getting down close to empty in the bag. Let's check this pocket over here. I've just got a couple of different uh, cables that I can use for the MobiLink. So uh, one for the FT5 and one for the uh, FT65R. So both of those work in conjunction with the MobiLink. I've got a couple of rubber duck antennas in here. I typically uh, like having the longer antennas on my radios, but occasionally the long ones are just overkill and I just need something short. Maybe uh, we're all within a really small radius and I'm not really trying to reach out that far. I might go ahead and throw one of the rubber ducks on the radios. In addition to that, I've just got a couple of various coax adapters. This will adapt me uh, from the BNC to SO239 or PL259, depending on what I might need. That would allow me to plug up into another antenna if I needed to. And let's see, we've also got a roll-up J-pole antenna in here. Now again, this is one of those items that I can't find anymore. This was made by a guy named Nelson. It was Nelson Antennas on eBay. I've had this for several years now, and I went looking for a link to this this morning and can no longer find this antenna. But if you search around, there are other roll-up J-poles out there. I have put a adapter on this one. I believe this one was originally SMA male, maybe, maybe female. But I did move the adapter uh, or put an adapter on it that would get me a BNC connection so that I can quickly get this on one of the HTs. So there's a look at what I carry in my 2 meter everyday carry kit. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. Do you see something that I left out or maybe that you would have included different in your kit? Leave it in the comments below. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.